we have tried several bible study setups and you guys have been asking for tips and tricks on how to study the bible with digital note taking in this video we're going to go through what that looks like in apple notes without a proper organization strategy all the digital notes you take for anything will quickly become messy disorganized notes also don't serve you much so from the start you need to decide how you're going to organize your apps and your notes. For your apps, you have two possibilities. You can either use two different apps, Apple Notes for your notes, and a Bible app. This is the setup we've mostly used, and it's the one that we'll be focusing on. Where we read the Bible from the Olive Tree Bible app, and we take notes in Apple Notes. If you don't like the idea of using two apps, then you can use one app, which is Apple Notes for both. You will have one notebook that will have your PDF Bible or the different Bible versions that you'll be using. If you use different ones, you can have them in one notebook. I only have one version of my iPad, so that's why I just have one for this, but this can easily work for several versions. You can then open the notebook with your Bible on one side and then another for taking notes on the side. So like I said, our team preferred the first setup and that's the one that we'll focus on. The next part to organize are your folders. There is no right or wrong way to go about doing this. You can organize your notes according to dates, topics, activities, or a combination of different aspects. Personally, I always like differentiating my personal study from sermons that others have preached. So I'll have a folder for each. Then inside each folder, I can combine dates and topics depending on the situation. The beauty of using Apple Notes and the Olive Tree Bible app for Bible study is that you can do it from pretty much anywhere with whatever setup you prefer. My favorite is the phone because of how portable it is. If you bump into a verse you want to note in your notes, you can simply copy it to Apple Notes. The app also lets you share the verse with a reference link that you can refer to later. I want it as a plain link, so I'll quickly fix that. I'll also add a topic for this study session and highlight the words spoken by Jesus Christ. I'm happy with that so far. When I'm on the go, or early in the morning, when I've just woken up, the phone is perfect for this. But its steps may seem like much, especially compared to the setup you can get on the iPad. The reason you'd want to use an iPad is that you can benefit from the bigger screen, which allows you to split view your Bible app with Apple Notes. You can pick up any device to continue with your notes, so we're still going to use the same note we were using on the iPhone. For personal notes, you can use Monospace if you want to easily tell apart your personal notes from your Bible verses. There are several ways to make that differentiation though. But first, check out how much easier it is to copy and paste verses in split view when using the iPad. 
there's not a lot of moving back and forth between the apps. It's also very easy to see what you're copying and fix it immediately if you've made a mistake. Like in this case, I actually wanted two verses. Another way to differentiate your notes is using bullet points. Monospace is good, but if you want to add a bit of structure to your notes, it won't allow you. But knowing when and how to use the different tools you have in Apple Notes can really make your Bible study notes beautiful and easier to refer to in the future. As a general rule, I'm starting to handwrite less and less, but it's a great option for taking Bible study notes. You can easily drag and drop verses into text boxes and integrate them with your handwritten notes. And the app is frozen. It hasn't done that in a while. Definitely didn't miss it. Trying to close didn't work. And then it crushed. It's very rare to capture bugs when recording, so I'm always happy when I manage to do that to show you guys. Apple Notes, especially on the Mac, had this problem a while back, but it's since been fixed. Until now, of course. And my handwritten notes have disappeared. That hurts because now I have to redo this again. When Apple Notes crashes, usually it saves your notes. Occasionally, and this is the second time this has happened, you lose your notes. Once, I lost a complete notebook with a day's work and I was devastated. Why we don't have auto backup for Apple Notes, only God knows. Anyway, we were talking about handwritten notes for a Bible study and how you can drag and drop verses into text boxes. Text boxes in Apple Notes are fun because they have more formatting options than you get for body text on the iPad. You can change the alignment, font size, color, and the type of font for your text. My favorite is the ability to rotate the text box. It looks more fun than when it's straight. A background for them would be useful though, unless you're using a plain page template, which also works. This you only get on the iPad though. That is why it probably makes more sense to use the iPad for your Bible study than an iPhone or a Mac. I've tried using the Mac before. It doesn't seem to work for me, no matter what I try. If you have any tips, do share. As you add more notes to your Bible study folder, here are a few tips that will help you make it easier to find your notes. Always pin the notes you're working on so they are easier to access from the top of your folder. Use text to mark questions, verses for meditation, and topics you're researching on. Tags are very useful because you can easily delete them from your notebooks when you no longer need them. Use headings and subheadings for collapsible sections. They create an easy table of contents for your notebooks without extra work on your part. And lastly, link ideas in your notes as much as possible. Bible study in Apple Notes can be as simple or as sophisticated as you make it. We love that it is perfect for anyone, really. It is definitely the simplest app we've tried to Bible study in. Though the app is simple, the notes you can take in it are not. And we love that about the app. The only problem I have with this setup though is that the links to Bible verses don't take you to the Olive Tree Bible app. They take you to the web version of the app. This is not a problem with Apple Notes, 
is the Bible app, so replacing that would solve that problem. However, it was enough for me to look for another solution that we'll be looking at in other videos. If you don't mind the web version, then you'll probably like the setup. You can also quickly change our Bible versions, which is a perk some of us will like. What Bible study system have you tried? Would love to hear and even try them. And until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.